Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this morning, first of all, welcome back to the beautiful, magical city of San Francisco, the city by the bay. So we're going to talk about today being red pill aware next to blue pill. So a lot of you have heard the terms blue pill and red pill. Well, let's start with blue pill. Blue pill is a term being used now to describe somebody that's not self-aware and mindful of the realities of life, of dating, the opposite sex, business, and the current matrix that we live in. Now, red pill, being self-aware and very mindful and having the ability to reason and critically think, which, as you're aware, the current matrix, and I'm mainly talking about the USA here and Western society, they want to tell you how to think, not the ability to reason or critically think and have your own opinion. So with that being said, you should make it an extra effort to have the ability to do all of the above. So look at always both sides, there's two sides to a coin. The blue pill opinion as well as the red pill. And this should uh, get you to the happy medium of where we're at. So, I mean, it is absolutely gorgeous here in the city. It's very vibrant. The weather's been fantastic over here. Uh, it's amazing uh, the talent and the people that the uh, city attracts here. I mean, definitely if you want to progress in technology or really any, any type of business, this would be the city of choice. One of the cities of choice, definitely. Right here at the edge of the Pacific. I mean, you have the beautiful Golden Gate Bridge. You have the Bay Bridge. There's so much history here. And there's a reason why it costs so much to live here. So, again, generally speaking, this is where greatness congregates. So a city like this attracts greatness. This is a pinnacle of technology here. Thinking that all the technology that you you know of right now, all the major technology that has made our lives easier stems from this city as well as uh, the Silicon Valley area. So definitely if you're an ambitious person and you have dreams place like this is where dreams can happen so depends what you want if uh, you want to pursue a field in acting or drama or a model of course you probably want to go to Miami New York or or Los Angeles but yeah in regards to dating definitely you'll be surrounding yourself with like-minded ambitious proactive forward thinkers in a city like this generally speaking as well as any other large major city that has a high net worth. So again, to create high net worth, what does it take? It takes repetition, dedication, constant drive, constant trusting the process. So does that make sense? It doesn't happen overnight. These overnight stories you hear of are far and few. So, generally, most people, the majority of people, we all have to work hard for whatever we want. Whether it is uh, becoming the best version of ourselves, it's a constant process development. It's a non-stop process until the last day you close your eyes. It doesn't happen overnight. You want to lose weight. You want the best body. You want to become the best version of yourself to bring, to bring the highest value 
to the world as possible, whether it be physically, mentally, academically. We all have to bring some sort of value. So keep that in mind. This uh, video is more on inspiration, giving you some thought process, provoking thought, and hopefully putting you guys on the right track. Again, this goes, uh, you know, if you want to date some awesome people, you got to be around awesome people. You become the average of the five most people you hang out with, and so does your income. So keep that in mind. Sometimes you have to shake loose those people that you've been friends with all your life to better yourself, if that's what you want, of course. And when you make these decisions, you don't want to ever look back. Doesn't mean you want to cut these people out of your life 100%, but sometimes we have to uh, go absent for a while to accomplish our dreams and our goals. There's a lot of people that choose not to wake up in the morning and take the initiative, and those are not the people you want to be around. So it takes time, it takes a process, it takes a drive, and you want to be around like-minded people like that, no matter what you choose to do. A sport, a hobby, entrepreneurship, etc. There's always people wanting to break you down. They may look like they're there for you, but they are probably not. There's a lot of jealousy. So again, mixing with like-minded people, very, very important. So hopefully this uh, video helps you guys, inspires you. And I do videos uh, in different locations while I'm traveling for business. So just wanted to point out a lot of you folks that don't have the ability to get out of your cubicle or wherever else they're at in life. Just want to share this with you and uh, we'll talk to you guys soon. Like, subscribe, and uh, make some comments below. See ya.